Scientists around the world are racing to answer an unusual question. Are we living in a hologram? The world around us looks and feels real. But the cosmos could be playing an astonishing trick on us. I think everyone out there is familiar with the idea of a hologram. I mean, we even have them on our credit cards. And what you can see when you look into a hologram is a three-dimensional image, something that seems to have volume. But a hologram itself is just two-dimensional. It's just a sheet of little film. The idea sounds crazy at first. But as physicists dig deeper into the math that describes the cosmos, it is beginning to tell them something seriously strange that the universe is nothing like we think it is. So is it possible that we've been fooled this whole time? If the universe is a hologram, it means true reality is two-dimensional, and our three-dimensional world is just an illusion. Could such a wild idea be true? Legendary physicist Leonard Susskind was part of a group of theorists who began to suspect there's more to our universe than the reality we see. They were trying to solve one of the greatest dilemmas in the world of physics. Gravity and quantum mechanics were at each other's throats, so to speak. Putting these ideas together has become the central question of physics. The laws of gravity that describe how big things like planets move seem to conflict with the laws of quantum physics that describe how very small things like electrons behave. Leonard experimented with the math to try to make the two theories work better together. He began to imagine everything in the universe existing in two places simultaneously. And when he did, all the problems with the mathematics dissolved away. I had thought very hard about this problem and eventually came to the conclusion that everything is really stored on the boundaries of the universe, far away on some large sphere, far from where everything is taking place. According to Leonard's theory, everything we see in the universe, from the planet we live on, to the star that brings us warmth, and the billion neighboring stars that make up the galaxy we call home, are all highly elaborate projections. Everything we perceive in three dimensions could originate from a gigantic bubble that wraps around our cosmos, a blueprint for building a universe mapped out in two dimensions that we experience as a three-dimensional hologram. To think that our 3D reality is really arisen from a 2D true reality, now that's really mind-blowing. The idea that our reality is a holographic projection from the edge of the universe leaves the world of physics reeling. Many people thought we were nuts. I do remember one of my friends coming and saying, half-jokingly, you used to be a good physicist, but you've lost your marbles. But as scientists around the world work on the math of this idea, the numbers begin to add up. The holographic principle appears to be the theory that makes all our physics work together. We have many different ways of understanding the universe, and it's generally accepted in science that what we accept as being true is what we observe to be true. But sometimes the math is so compelling that you just can't ignore it. Scientists have learned to take even the most unlikely theories seriously if the math stacks up. 100 years ago, Einstein's theory of relativity sounded crazy but the atomic bomb showed that it works. Today, the equations that describe the universe as a hologram add up, so scientists have to take them seriously. Mathematics gives us a superpower. It can envision the possibility that our entire existence is nothing more than a holographic simulation. It really is the engine of our greatest achievements. 
It does sound completely nutty, but our universe could, in fact, be one big hologram. We scientists have to follow the evidence, no matter the crazy places that it will take us. That's what it means to do science. Is our existence really being played out in two dimensions somewhere else? And if so, why does it feel so real to us? In the city of Provo, Utah, physicist Daniel Smalley uses a practical approach to investigate this mystery. He builds holograms from scratch in his lab. The magic of a hologram is that it contains the 3D information for a volume in a 2D surface. Here we see that the 2D pattern of lines is actually recreating a three-dimensional image that appears to be behind the plate. Could our universe be playing a similar trick? Manipulating light to create our galaxies? Daniel thinks a glass hologram like this one is too simple. It only works when you view it from the correct angle. There limitation is that they can't go beyond these boundaries, the boundaries created by the plate. If we're not looking directly in to that pattern of lines, we're not going to see an image. If our universe is a hologram like this, the cosmos would appear to flash in and out of existence as our galaxy spins. But this behavior has never been observed. A glass hologram isn't the answer. Daniel is working on a new generation of hologram that gets us much closer. It manipulates solid matter instead of light. Our team here has been working on a new type of three-dimensional display that actually uses not just light, but also physical material objects to create 3D images that enable us to be able to see those 3D images from every direction. One laser moves a particle of cellulose through space and another shines colorful light onto it, creating a picture in midair. And then point by point, we're able to build a 3D image. Daniel's team creates a miniature hologram that you can touch and that can be seen from any angle. This is a giant leap closer to a hologram that feels like the reality we see around us. But this isn't concrete proof the holographic light source can be blocked. Light is entering the system, and if we block that direction with our hands, our universe disappears. And this, of course, is not how we expect our real universe to behave. And so even this technology is not quite perfect for building a miniature universe. Daniel's holograms are a poor fit for the reality we experience. So is it game over for the holographic principle? It's extraordinarily difficult to test these ideas. It doesn't mean that it's impossible to test these ideas. It just means it is a grand challenge. You have to realize that there have been many times in our history where physics has confronted us with something that just didn't make sense. Scientists don't want to give up on the holographic principle easily because the math adds up. But if this radical idea is correct, there must be evidence in our own universe that confirms it. The holographic principle could be a game changer and solve a really fundamental problem in our understanding of the cosmos. So the stakes are really high. The hunt is now on to find clues to the holographic nature of reality. The search takes scientists into the physics of the most extreme objects in the universe. Could black holes prove that the universe we live in is a hologram? And can this $3 million machine hunt down glitches in the hologram of reality? We're really trying to pick up something which never would have been seen before.